Well, the Mini is back on the rack. I've got the uh, transmission rebuilt. Uh, it was a little more involved than I hoped, but uh, we, we had to have the whole transmission rebuilt. So it has all new synchros, all new bearings, everything. Uh, there is an upgrade I did to it. I put a two pin uh, cross differential in the back instead of the single one what originally came with. Uh, originally it was two spider gears, now it has four. So hopefully that will help with a little bit of torque steer. Uh, we'll find out. But anyway, that's all rebuilt. Uh, like I said, it was a little more involved than what I hoped for, but it's good to go. Um, getting it back together, there's a few things I'm upgrading. The original radiator was pretty bad. Uh, so instead of rebuilding, I just got a new aluminum radiator. Um, what other changes have I done? Uh, well, I had this apart. I'm putting all new hoses uh, built, a uh, new water pump, a new oil pump. Uh, the clutch is still in really good shape, so I didn't have to redo that. Um, it's the subframe. Uh, I pulled this back out. Um, and this is the engine compartment, which you've seen before. Uh, I did find the one engine brace here. This bracket was, uh, whoops, here we go. This bracket was broken here, so I'm going to have to clean this up and re-weld this. It's one of the stabilizers. There's one here and then one over here on the other side, and then there's two down below. Uh, this is the uh, car wiring. I have all the final wrap taken off of it. Uh, I had I actually eliminated uh, oh, a few wires. Uh, didn't really have to add anything to these, but uh, anyway, I'm almost done with this. I'm pretty much done with it, actually. Um, this is the front battery box. Um, well, let's go over here. I got a, a the fuse panel here. Uh, it'll hold six fuses. Uh, thanks for like uh, powering the heater, the wipers. Uh, and horn and some other things out of that. And there's this, uh, this is all switched off of the ignition, uh, whereas this block here is on all the time, you know, once it's connected directly to the battery. I've been doing some more work on the uh, BMS wiring. Uh, this is the BMS wiring that goes from the uh, front up, up here. Uh, to the rear battery box for the four, uh, the four batteries back there. Uh, I have these all pre-made. Uh, I measured them all up in the car, uh, so everything's the correct length and thus ready to go in. Um, this is f uh, for the uh, lower front battery box. Um, I have these all spliced together up to the uh, BMS modules. Um, uh, change the subject. These are the thermistors for the for the rear. Uh, there's four of them uh, for the rear. Uh, this is the front lower box, which would uh, which would be batteries five, six, seven, and the rear ones one through four. Uh, each pair of batteries will have a thermistor, so I'll have 13 total. I haven't made the ones for the f for the upper front yet. Uh, I've been working on the wiring um, and uh, getting getting it spliced together. Uh, for example, this is battery battery the pair of batteries here, number eight, uh, and I've got those uh, spliced together with the uh, jumpers or pigtails, or you want to call them, that go up to the BMS. And uh, I'm gradually getting this done, kind of laying things out. All of this blue tape you see on things, holding things together, is just basically holding things together uh, so I can get the right lengths on all of these, all of this wiring, all this BMS wiring. Um, once I get these all, all connected up, all 13 batteries up to the BMS modules, um, I can go ahead and pull them all apart and uh, wrap them up like these. So when we go to do the final assembly, every, all the harnesses are done. It's really important that you really double, triple check all of this wiring because um, all of these batteries are in series 
and these have to be in series right along with each cell in each battery so it's really critical uh, that you take your time on this make sure everything's correct I haven't shot a lot of video in the last couple of months because I've been working on the wiring harnesses and there's not really much to show there uh, it's very time consuming and basically seeing the same thing over and over again so what I've done is I put together all the photos I've taken with my still camera and made a slideshow presentation of from the beginning to right now to where we're at on the on the project so anyway uh, let's look at that now hope you enjoy thanks for watching
I've been working mainly uh, on the wiring harnesses for the MG. Uh, I've got it off the lift and up over on its side because I'm going to start uh, working on the bottom here. I've got a, a lot of little touch-up welding to do, uh, but gosh, the last two months I've just been doing a lot of electrical, making the wiring harnesses up from, from the motor to the TC controller up front. Uh, all the BMS wiring, it's very time consuming, but uh, I pretty much have those all roughed in. So what I'm going to start on the body work now is on the bottom of the car. Uh, I have some of the uh, touch-up welding to do here and there. Uh, a lot of seam sealing on the bottom. Um, I'm considering putting uh, some type of undercoat special paint or something on here. Uh, possibly a truck bed liner type uh, uh, paint on the bottom or protection on the bottom of the car. But we'll see. Um, anyway, that's where we're at there. Um, I hope to be back on, uh, on the MG in the next week or so. Uh, I want to get the mini mini up and running uh, got the wheels off so I can get those cleaned up put back on uh, the mini was running pretty good before the transmission failure so there's not much uh, really need to do other than just get it back together well that's all for this episode I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the slideshow uh, I'll try to get some pictures of the uh, Mini when I get it all back together and show that it actually does run again. So, anyway, that's all for now. Bye.